Hyperlative, the Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer, and this is... What? Call of Duty Black Ops? Can I believe it? Run away! Now, uh, seriously guys, um, this is some um, Black Ops gun game. I just felt in the mood for a gun game, and <laughs> I actually fired up Black Ops and played some gun game. Just for fun, and it was actually quite fun for a while, you know, until I realized how much I hate this game and turned it off. <laughs> well, back to the point that I really wanted to cover in this video, which is something that Cliff Blazinski of Epic Games brought up in some recent tweets of his. What he basically said is that he should think that games should have a dynamic difficulty, which means that the game would detect if you've been away for some time and turn down the difficulty for you so that you it's easier to get into the game again and when you've kind of gotten into the groove you'll be the game will turn the difficulty back up and that way you won't be as frustrated with the game as you would have been otherwise and you kind of don't want notice that kind of a hurdle you have to get into before getting good at the game again and getting into you know how things work and you know it but you kind of have to get the right feeling before you get good at the game again <clears throat> and i i i'm come kind of ambivalent on on this point because on the one side it it looks kind of nice with a game that knows that you've been away for a while and might even turn down the difficulty mid campaign for you in the middle of the single player if you're stuck on a spot and the game detects that, yeah, if you've died several times now, I'll just kind of dial back a little bit on the difficulty, on the intelligence of the AI. And that way, you'll be able to progress beyond this part, and that way not get frustrated anymore by this part of the game, and move on. On the other hand, you kind of lose control of your game and to some people that's what PC gaming is all about you know having control over your game and how your game should work really and I realized that you can't put a just a switch in the options perhaps that says I don't want the default uh, the dynamic difficulty to be on it may be on by d default so that you know the noobs if you will um, get the dynamic difficulty but you as um elite <laughs> can turn it off if you want if you want and but that way you may get frustrated by some parts but that's kind of your what you're used to so i i don't know guys I, i'm 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 not sure which side of the fence i'm really on on this point um uh, and what i'm what i'm really asking for is your guys opinions what do you think, guys think that games should do? Should we should they start to implement a dynamic difficulty in single player campaigns from this point and forward? Or should we just keep it the way it is with the difficulty being something that you adjust before the single player and you play with that difficulty all the way through? Or perhaps, as some games allow, to change the difficulty in mid campaign or in the middle of the single player to kind of get past a certain part easier and that way not get as frustrated with the that kind that point of the game or it's just those hard points a flaw in the game design and game designers should get better at making the difficulties more evenly dis distributed over the whole campaign leave your comments below I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you next time. It's like it's about a time.